Okay, let's talk about priming your charcoal, um, compressed charcoal stick. Um, so the reason you'd want to prime is so that whenever you're using the side of it to cover a large area with the charcoal, um, sometimes if you don't prime it, you get like a weird streaky kind of thing happening. And the reason for that is this little chart here. So when you just buy your stick and get it out of the package, the way it's produced very often, the tip has this tiny little lip on the end, which is gonna catch your paper. And so you'll have lines instead of a nice clean um, overall kind of um, area. So what you want it to look like is smooth. So now we have to prime it and it's really easy to do. You just get a piece of paper and your um, charcoal stick and you can prime all four sides if you want or you can just do one. It doesn't matter whichever one you wanna use. So this is unprimed. So you get this lovely, the streaks at the end of the charcoal and then you get a little bit of coverage in the middle which looks terrible. So what you wanna do is you just wanna keep going Maybe even putting a little extra pressure on those ends, just so you get some coverage. And then you check it. See, look, that's so much better. That's already like really beautiful coverage. So you can just blend that and you'll get a really nice consistent edge. So just check, you can check all four sides if you want. That side is awful, look at that. So again, you just get in here and you prime it. Just, it doesn't take very much. And then you check it better, but still got the two things. So I'm just gonna actually just treat the ends. Let's see how that did. I'm running out of paper. Still not quite ready, but closer. So just work, oh there, see that's, well, it's a little bit better. This one's really bad. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. It'll make your drawing go by faster and look much, much better. So if you don't, if you don't have these little extra lines messing up your beautiful uh, charcoal coverage.